Jean-Pierre Dic, I'm 47. Trained as a veterinarian with a top business diploma, he wasn't predestined to the Vendée Globe. But in 2002, Jean-Pierre Dic decides to dedicate himself to his passion, open sea racing. After two participations in the previous two editions, his status as main favorite gives him an extended media exposure. It is now 10 years he has had the Vendée Globe on his mind. My ambitions are, of course, the podium, to be among the first three, that'd be magic. But the grail would obviously be to win. Winning the Vendée Globe for a sailor from Nice would not only be a scoop, it would be fantastic. Sixth in 2004-2005, forced to abandon in the last edition, Jean-Pierre Dic knows what it's all about. To his solid experience of the Vendée Globe, add a double victory in the Barcelona World Races in 2008 and 2011, you have the profile of a skipper who collects around-the-world sailings as others do Himalayan heights. I'm persistent. I've had the objective for many years, to try and win open sea races and consolidate be strong on solitary. I'm somehow a solitary to be. I haven't won great solitary races, whereas I've won five in doubles. The one Louis Perron calls the gentleman skipper has many trumps in his gameplay. Time works his way, and for Jean-Pierre Dic, this Vendée Globe could be one of maturity. That's an Italian proverb. The route is extremely long. We'll have to not forcingly win, but avoid losing it in order to win it at the end. Equipped with a powerful and innovative boat, Jean-Pierre Dic has never been so near his dream. But as an all-time favorite, he knows it's a combination of parameters which will make it all come true. Who's going to win the Vendée Globe? The most tenacious. But he'll also need success. So it'll be this alchemy of extraordinary motivation with that touch of success, which is very necessary in these mechanical sports.